<laughs> Did they say they want some Chipotle? They want a Chipotle burrito? Okay, no problem. I got y'all. So listen, let's go ahead and get our salsa going, baby. Because one thing we're going to do is eat some homemade salsa, baby. It just don't taste good out the jar no more, honey. Make your own. It's fresher, it's better, and it's more healthier for you. Because you know what's in it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, let's add that little cilantro to them tomatoes, onions, jalapenos. Add a little salt and pepper to that stuff. A little salt, Himalayan salt. You know, just keep it a little bit more. You know, don't use that iodine salt. I ain't use that again. So I got what I'm saying? And make sure you squeeze that good old lime in there. Y'all seen the squeeze it. And now let me get this thing on here, honey. And let's get to, ooh, shaking that up. And I told y'all before that I made this, I like mine a little chunky. I like it a little chunky so I don't turn it too hard. And then Papa just got to be in the mix. He just got to be able to turn it too. So whatever. Come on, Papa. Look at the little smile on his face, honey. He's so happy to go ahead and turn it. And yes, these are our ingredients, honey. What? Chipotle, what? Oh, okay, yeah. We're going to make our own burrito. Let's get to going. So yeah, I got all my stuff sitting out so we can go ahead and get this burrito. Get that tortilla. It is hot. That's why I'm flipping it like that. Nice and hot. Slap them beans up on there. Rip, trip, 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 slap. Yeah, had to slap them beans on there. Listen, this is my last time buying beans. I can't, I can't do this no more. Like, I, no, no. Mm -mm, find somebody else to play with. Yes, and get that little Spanish rice on there. A little Spanish rice, baby. Get it going. Add that little cheese. Let me tell y'all, I ain't had no cheese. I had a cheese stick, baby, and I shredded it up. Show did, because that's all I had. Learn to improvise. Good old steak bites. Yep, y'all seen me cooking that steak at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yes, add that steak on up and up. Yeah, add that little cilantro, onions. You know what I'm saying? You got to, my son said, your, your taste buds ain't grew up if you don't like onions. <laughs> my son said that. Ah, add that little queso on there. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I needed that little part that was trying to stick in there. Go ahead and add that sour cream. Yup, that much, baby. When I say sour cream, when I say extra, extra sour cream, this is what I mean. Add that good homemade salsa up in there, baby. Homemade. Nice and spicy, too. Ooh, baby, that salsa was so good. Oh, y'all want to see me wrap that thing on up? <laughs> y'all want to see me wrap that thing on up, baby? Oh, I'm going to wrap it. It's going to get wrapped. It's a little messy, but it's going to get wrapped. And it's going to fit up in there real good. And I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to make that boy stick. What? So, yeah, after you get that on wrapped up a little bit, that's right. Flip it the other way, baby. Throw that thing on in that aluminum floor. Aluminum floor. Aluminum floor. Yeah, that right there. That's the... Get that big... I knew this George Foreman grill would come in handy sometimes because I don't never use it. It's just literally collect dust. But this is what it came in handy for. Y'all know every time I go to Chipotle, I'll be like, can you put it on the grill for me after you make my burrito? Yeah, I like it on the grill. Yeah, get it nice and hot. Throw that thing on up in there and slice it up, baby. There you have it. 